uh, then uh, I have discussed a little bit on this finite slope okay, with linear failure plane. Okay. So the example of the calculation, okay, we may refer to Dr. Kamarudin reference book. Okay. But this is uh, just to share with you okay, the type of uh, analysis um, usually used okay, to determine the factor safety of the slope either for the infinite and also for uh, or for the finite slopes okay <clears throat> okay then uh, under the circular slope failure plane okay so um, we may consider okay either the shallow or the deep uh, failure okay while for the su uh, superficial uh, failure we call as a erosion okay we may not discuss okay on how to determine the erosion rate okay so in order to determine either the failure is under shallow or deep uh, failure mode okay so we need to determine where is the uh, the 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 origin point okay <clears throat> for example okay this origin point okay uh, in order for us to create okay uh, the possible uh, circular failure plane okay so uh, this is just as a guide okay um, for us to start okay if we are using a manual approach okay so for example okay we have a slope okay with a certain degree okay let's say 26.57 okay then uh, uh, we need to use okay hello rain you raise your hand rain Okay. Okay. Um, this is the twenty six point five seven. Let's see. Okay. Then uh, the alpha. Okay. By using a protector. Okay. So we draw a twenty five degree. Okay. And then draw a straight line. Okay. Then uh, the alpha two. Okay. Uh, we draw a horizontal line. On the uh, 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 based on the uh, surface level for the, the top, so, okay. uh, we use a protector, okay, then get the 35 degree, okay, from the horizontal line, okay, and draw another line, okay, whereby it intersect the first line, okay, then by using a protector. By using a compass for Janka Lukis, okay, so we draw uh, a potential failure plane, okay, and we need to make sure that, okay, the radius, okay, okay, uh, the radius between uh, the first line, okay. And the sec and the last line okay should be equal okay so we need to do a try and error okay until it uh, meet the same uh, radius line okay um, by pointing to the towards the toe of the slope okay so then uh, we may do the calculation okay and then we may try for another point okay which is nearby the center okay until we get what we call as the optimum value of the fos okay so uh, if we are using manually okay so it will took a longer time okay for us to complete uh, one analysis okay so that's why when we refer to any uh, reference book okay so they will ask to use 
a commercial software where the software can determine up to 2000 uh, or carry out up to 2000 analysis okay, within less than one minute. Okay. But we need to know what is the parameter or the input to be included in the uh, software itself. Okay. So that, that is uh, how to define the failure surface okay, for a tow circle. Okay. And there is a lot of uh, available uh, chart or table okay, in finding the center of the failure circle. So this is uh, one of example. So in uh, non-linear methods, okay, so we have a total stress approach. Okay. Then we also have a method of slices. Okay. For this total stress approach, okay, um, we using the value of the cohesions of the soil. Okay. So it is only suitable to be uh, used for a cohesive type of slope. Okay. So that is the limitation by using this total stress approach. Okay. So okay, we have two conditions here. Okay. Okay. The first one uh, we assume it is a perfect uh, slope okay, with no tension crack occur. Okay. So uh, um, as we know, okay, uh, to determine the stability or the factor safety of the slope, okay, so we need to define okay, what is the resist resisting value, okay, and also what is the driving value. Okay. So by using this uh, total stress approach, okay, so we may use the concept of moment. Okay. So uh, we, uh, <clears throat> we need to identify okay what is the resisting moment and what is the driving moment okay so let's say okay uh, to determine the driving moment okay so we need to know what is the width of this slope okay structure within the the, the boundary uh, that we create from the circular uh, slope failure mode Okay. So, by the use of the ang uh, the the moment arm, okay, which is D, okay, so then we multiply with the W, so we get the driving force or driving moment. Okay, so that is for the driving moment. Okay, so for the resisting moment, okay, the value is rely on the length of the uh, failure surface. We call it as a LA. Okay. Then we may multiply with the cohesions, okay, which is the CU. Okay. So LA actually we can derive from the ra radius of the slope, okay, and also the degree, okay, uh, which is the theta. Okay. Okay. So by dividing resisting moment and the driving moment, so we get the factor of safety. Okay. Okay, on the other hand, okay, uh, due to a due to a poor uh, construction, okay, uh, for example of the embankment, okay, so they will they create a potential tension crack. Okay, let's say this is under the worst condition, or we can observe. Okay, this tension crack during the site visit. Okay, so the tension crack, okay, most probably will be filled by a water. Okay, so it create the hydrostatic pressure. Okay, inside the tension crack. Okay, so it may contribute to the additional load. Okay, so it create another uh, driving moment. So we have two driving moments here. Okay. The first is from the slope structure itself. Okay. And the second one is from the hydrostatic pressure. Okay. And due to that, 
okay, the resisting moment, okay, will be reduced, okay, whereby the effective length, okay, is starting from here, okay, to the end of the tension crack, okay. So we may use a L prime, okay. So the same concept where we use the R, okay, theta to get the L and multiply with the CU. Okay. So whatever additional load, okay, which con which uh, um, located okay, inside uh, the slope structure, okay, may contribute to the driving moment or driving force. Okay. For example, if we have a, a structure okay, on the top of the slope, okay, so we need to know what is the moment arm, okay, and also what is the unit width and the height and the width of the structure. Okay, then we may add under the driving force value. Okay. So this is the equation okay, for the um, without tension crack. Okay. So CU is the cohesion okay. and then we have the LA which is the length and R is the radius. Okay. So let's say if we have two types of soil here, okay, so with a different CU value, okay, so CU1, CU2, okay, so we should know what is the theta value. Okay, so then we can get uh, the dif a different value of resisting moment due to a different soil properties. Okay. Okay. While this is for the tension crack, a slope with a tension crack. Okay. So the L prime is the effective length. Okay. And then we have an uh, additional of rho W, which is the high density pressure, a PW, which is the high density pressure, times with the YC, okay, which is the moment arm uh, from the center okay towards the hydrostatic uh, force okay so that is for the total stress approach <clears throat> so another method you know, which is a simple method where we can get a preliminary uh, judgment okay to determine the stability of the slope, okay. So by using a chart approach, okay. So we have a Taylor stability number, Jambu stability chart, Bishop and Morgeston chart for effective stress analysis, Morgeston graph for rapid drawdown, okay. So this is the list of the chart the available uh, for the slope stability analysis. Okay. But for, for our case, or for, for, or for our syllabus, we only use or uh, learn on the Taylor stability number. Okay. So this is an example of Taylor stability chart. Okay. So uh, let's say this is our slope. Okay, and then we have a beta there, okay, and we have the height of the slope, okay, and the height of the, the height at the top of the slope to the, uh, to the height layer, okay, so we call it as an ND time H, okay, so ND is the, is the ratio okay, between the top, the height of the slope with the top to the hard layer. Okay. So to, to get the factor safety, okay, we may refer to this chart okay, where this chart have the beta value okay, and also 
have the fee value which is the swap properties okay so then the and this uh, this uh, area is depend on the ratio from the top to the uh, to the hard layer okay from there we may determine the stability number okay which is ms equal to gamma h over c okay so uh, by knowing the stability number okay we may carry out a try and error approach okay to determine the factor safety okay so i will discuss later uh, by referring to dr kamarudin reference book okay <clears throat> so the last approach is by using the method of slices okay so in this method the potential failure surface is assumed to be a circular arch with center and radius r okay so this is an example of the method of slices approach okay so we may divide into several slices okay and it depends on the geometry of the slope okay the soft properties okay for example, okay, if it has a two layer, okay, so we the 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 location of of the slice, okay, it may uh, sorry the 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 layer of the slope, uh, the layer of the soil, okay, uh, will influence, okay, the the location of the slice. Okay, uh, uh, I will discuss later on, okay, by using uh, an example from Dr. Kamarudin reference book, okay. So, <clears throat> I also will teach you, okay, on how to uh, construct uh, the slice, okay, and then to get the value for the factor safety. So the soil mass ABC above the failure surface AC is divided by vertical plane into a series of slices of width B. Okay. The base of each slice is assumed to be straight line. For any slice, the inclination of the base of the horizontal line is alpha and the height measure is H. Okay. So for this case, okay, uh, because the geometry is very important, for example, the height, the width okay, of the slice. So it is better for us okay, to construct or to draw uh, this uh, uh, slice, okay, this, met, this approach okay, by using a grid paper or a graph paper. Okay. So uh, we need to get the actual yeah at least get the actual scale okay of the slope um which is the height okay the width okay, of the slope so then we can divide into several slices okay <clears throat> so for the method of slices okay um let's say this is the slice okay then uh as as it has been uh, mentioned in in what we call it, in this uh, slide, okay. So the base of this slice is assumed to be a straight line, although it has a certain curve there. Okay. So we assume this is a straight line. Okay. So from there we can get uh, the normal force and also the shear force. Okay. So then for each slice, okay. They have a side force, okay, which is the shear force and also the normal force as well. Okay. So, um, several uh, researcher okay, provide uh, a different assumption okay, on the side force. Okay. So, from there, they produce a different what we call as equation okay let's say uh, they assume that 
x is uh, x between both sides is equal, okay, or e is equal, or uh, uh, <clears throat> so then they, they come up with a different uh, type of uh, equation, okay. So we have several equation uh, produced, okay, by the previous uh, researcher or scholar. Okay, we have here Philenius, Bishop, Jambu. Okay, so it is actually based on the assumption made. Okay, on the X and E force. So as before, the factor safety is defined as the ratio of the available shear strength to the shear stress acting on the plane. Okay, so this is what we have discussed previously. The factor safety is taken to be the same for each slice, implying that there must be support between slices. Okay, so force must act between slices. What, what I have mentioned, it is a side force. Okay. So then, then okay, for each slice, okay, between what is the width of the slice, okay, which is gamma times BH, okay, the total normal force on the base, okay, the shear force on the base, okay, the total normal force on the side, the shear force on the side, and any external force must be included in the analysis. Okay. So in our case, okay, I will not discuss in detail in terms of the derivation of the uh, of the equations. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> okay, let's say uh, assumption must be made regarding the interslice force E and X, okay, so taking moment about O, okay, the sum, okay, the, the, the method of slices also use the, the moment concept, okay. <clears throat> okay, 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 the easy way, okay, um, we have here uh, an alpha value, eh? okay, so this alpha value, okay, uh, Either we use a negative or we use a positive value. Okay, so for example, okay, on the right side, okay, by referring to the center of the line, center of the center of the center of the circular arch. Okay, <clears throat> so the right side, okay. Let's say if we use a positive value, okay, so the alpha value in the equation okay, should be a positive value to be used. Okay. Then on the left side, okay, so we may use the negative value for the alpha. Okay. Okay. So or if you want to use a negative value, okay, to represent the alpha, okay, on the right side. So for this, you may use a positive value, okay. <clears throat> okay, the sum of the moment of shear force T on the failure arch AC must be equal to the moment of the width of the soil mass AB. C D okay. So this, this is the, the 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 derivation okay of the uh <coughs> slice okay then we use the sign of the we, we call it as a, a sum eh? okay so meaning that we need to calculate okay for every slices okay and then get the total value, for example, under the driving moment, okay, and get the total value, okay, under the resisting moment, okay. So from there, it may represent the factor safety of the soil, of the slope, okay. 
So we need to calculate first for the slash number one, then continue with slash number two until to the slice or to the end of the slice. Okay? So it's very tedious work. So it's very time consuming. Okay? <clears throat> okay, so this is the common uh, equation okay, to be used to determine the factor safety. Okay? Okay, then there, there is an improvement made by uh, Philenius. Eh? Okay, so Philenius assumed that the resultant of the interslice force is zero. Okay, <clears throat> so from there, there will be some uh, modification on the, the whole of the, uh, of the, what we call, uh, of the equation. Okay, so this is the final equation. Okay produced by the Philenius, okay? So it may cater what we call on the pore water pressure, okay? If we have a seepage occur in the slope, okay? Another approach, okay, made by Bishop, okay? Bishop assumed that the result of the interstellar force are horizontal, okay? Whereby X, one minus x two is equal to zero. Okay, so from there, uh, another modification okay made by Bishop. Okay, so this is a major modification. Okay, <clears throat> whereby at the end, okay, to solve the met to solve what we call as to solve the approach by the Bishop. Okay, so we need to do a try and error approach, okay? Why? Because we have a two factor safety value, okay? On the left and also on the right, okay? So usually for the V-shop, we may run or we may analyze up to minimum three different factors of safety, okay? On this, uh, on the, right equation okay until we get the same value of the factor safety between the left and the right okay so we calculate first the factor safety uh, we, we assume first the factor safety on the right and then get the final result okay and what is the factor safety to represent on the left okay if it is not equal then we do another attempt, okay? And usually we need to run up to three calculation, okay? So later on, we need to plot a graph, okay? Between the left and the right uh, equation, okay? Then we need to draw what we call as a line of equality. From there, the intersection between the line of equality with the relationship between the factor safety on the left and on the right is the factor safety, okay? Okay, so this is the uh, uh, a simple explanation, okay? So we, we calculate first uh, up to three attempts, okay? So this is factor safety on the right, okay, and then this is factor safety on the left. Okay. okay, let's say we have this kind of relationship. Okay, <clears throat> then we draw a line of equality, which is factor safety, for example, one on the right equal to factor safety on the left. Let's say two on the right equal to two on the left, okay? So the intersection between the line quality with the relationship, okay, is the factor safety for the slope, okay? So that's why we need to run up to three times, okay? So this is the first point. Let's say this is the second point, and this will be the third point, okay? So if we only run or calculate two times, okay, so we not 
sure idea it is a linear relationship or non linear relationship that's why we need to run at least three attempts okay so again we may discuss by referring to dr kamarudin reference book okay, <clears throat> okay. so since f appear in both side of equation then use a try and error okay. to simplify the calculation the following chart must be used okay so uh, okay uh, to simplify this equation okay by using the m a okay so from the m a okay so they uh, propose a chart okay, to be used okay, okay, to make it uh, more easier. Okay. <clears throat> so this can be put what we call in in uh, in an Excel okay, uh, to get or to make it easy. Okay compared to the try and error approach okay. so we, we may discuss uh, later on on this m alpha approach okay. <clears throat> because it's much more easy for us to understand okay by discussing based on the uh, on the full calculation example okay so that is for the a b shop Okay, so due to repetitive nature of the calculation and the need to select the most critical failure surface, the method of slices in particularly stable for solution by computer. Okay, more complex geometry and social data can be introduced. Okay, so that, that, that's the same suggestion. Okay, when you read uh, any other reference book, okay, at the end, okay, all the author agree that we need to use a commercial software okay. however okay, <clears throat> we need to understand the fundamental concept of the method of slices so from there we know what is the uh, important parameter to be used okay. uh, so that uh, uh, we understand full understand how the the, the computer works okay, to determine the factor safety so okay this is an example of several uh, approach okay, made by several different uh, researcher starting from the Philenius, okay, bishop jambo morgaston price and spencer okay. What we call but we can see that the Spencer is more comprehensive approach okay, compared to the other uh, methods okay but for our case uh, we did only discuss on the Philenius and Bishop okay <clears throat> okay uh, I guess that is all for today Okay. It's very short because today is a, uh, actually a public holiday. Okay. So, okay, we may stop here. Okay. And then we may meet next week. Okay. To discuss on the calculation. Okay. For the, this chapter by using Dr. Kamarudin reference book. Okay. So with that, I end my class for today. Okay. And then I will share the QR attendant uh, code okay, uh, in the WhatsApp group. Okay. So have a nice holiday. Okay. Assalamualaikum and good morning. Okay, you're welcome. Bye-bye. Okay.